A unique and tiny development is going up in North Portland. It looks like six tiny homes all on just one residential lot. Some are trying to figure out how that's even allowed. KGW's environmental reporter Keely Chalmers is live there tonight. And Keely, there is some creative permitting going on there. Yeah, Tracy, this place is called the Camp North Michigan Avenue, as you can see by that sign here. As you can see, it is made up of six small structures and again, all on one residential lot. Now that might sound like a violation to some, but all this does comply with city code. That's because it's not what it looks like. Nestled among the homes just a block off North Mississippi Avenue is Portland builder Bradley Bloom's latest creation. We're calling them birdhouses. Um, a tiny village of sorts made up of six individually themed living spaces. So this is the violet green swallow. Each one has a shower, toilet, and a sink, just like your typical tiny house. So it has uh, most everything that you would need inside of 182 square feet. Except these are not homes. Under city code, the two along the street are considered primary residences. The rest, they're detached or satellite bedrooms. So that would make each unit a three bedroom, three bath home. But they're really six homes now. Yes, of sorts, yes. Six individual living spaces. Under city code, each detached bedroom is allowed one sink, which when put all together does look an awful lot like a tiny home. We're really pushing the, the zoning envelope. Bloom says the goal is to increase density on an existing lot, but it's also to offer families the chance to live a little earth friendlier. Not only are their footprints quite small, all the units were built using repurposed materials. All of the masonry came from a, a chimney up the street. And while we found some neighbors who would prefer a single home on the lot. It's going to bring more people. They're super cute. Others are pleased by Bloom's creation and would like to see even more. So I think it's a really good use of um, density. And again, I talked to city planners today and they confirm that Bloom's project does meet city code. But they also point out because these are considered bedrooms, they cannot be rented out individually on a long term basis. They can, however, if Bloom gets the right permits, be rented out on a short term basis, kind of like an Airbnb. Back to you. Pretty creative. Thank you, Keely.